Hey everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to AI enhanced pan tilt zoom camera auto tracking. Now this is a function that's available on select VIP Vision IP pan tilt zoom cameras that allows us to enhance auto tracking with artificial intelligence capabilities. What that essentially means is now instead of just auto tracking on a blob entering a box or a blob crossing a line, we can now drill down onto specific, specific objects so we can say only auto track on a car crossing a line or only auto track on a human entering a box. This obviously greatly enhances the uh, functionality of these devices because no longer are we auto tracking based off just strange things entering boxes. So maybe we had water entering the box before and that was triggering auto tracking. Or maybe we had a bird or a moth fly in front of a camera and that was triggering auto tracking. Now we can specifically say only track humans entering a box or only track cars entering a box. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over the basics of this. I'm not gonna go into how to set it up. I'm just gonna show you what we're capable of at present day. So let's jump across to a PC and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So this is the camera that we're gonna be using for the test here. So this is an ultimate series um, AI based pan tilt zoom camera. It has 40 times optical zoom. It's an eight megapixel camera. Um, and the thing that we're most interested in, of course, is the fact that it's an AI pan tilt zoom camera. And that's what's going to allow us to do the auto tracking uh, with AI capabilities. Okay, so this is the web interface of the AI enhanced pan tilt zoom camera that we're going to be using for this demonstration. As you can see, it's mounted on a building overlooking a roadway. It's mounted at roughly four and a half meters tall. Um, as you can see, we're overlooking uh, some awnings here that it's mounted above. Um, if you look all the way off in the distance in this roadway here, you're probably seeing sort of roughly 250 meters away. And if I spin over to the right, you will see that we are currently experiencing a bit of glare from afternoon sun, but hopefully that doesn't interfere with our demonstration. So what I have set up here is I have three presets, the first of which you're looking at here now, which doesn't perform any function at all. The tracking, auto tracking is turned off completely. However, my first preset, which I'm gonna set here now, will actually trigger cars only, okay? So this one here has been trained to look only for cars. And you'll see that we have this box here, um, the blue box, and you would have seen an orange box that was drawn um, around the vehicle. And we followed that vehicle until we lost it and then we came back. So you'll see as these other cars approach up here, you're seeing a couple of static cars up in the top left there that are being detected. But as these cars here approach, you'll notice that they have yellow boxes drawn around them. Sorry, yellow, not orange. And um, we then track that vehicle until we lose it. And we're losing it a little bit in the sun and behind that sign there, but that's working pretty well. I'll just let it run so that you can see a few other interactions. So as I mentioned, this is set up specifically to target vehicles. And by vehicles, I mean um, trucks, cars, buses, uh, and motorbikes. So as you can see, we're tracking from both directions at the moment, and hopefully you'll see this follow the car all the way up the hill. Looks like someone's gonna be turning there and slowing things down, but we should still auto track. Now I have an auto track expiry set to 30 seconds. So you will notice that either we'll follow the vehicle until we lose it, or we'll follow it for 30 seconds and then we will go back to our home position. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Okay, so I think the 30 seconds may have expired there. And here we are, we're back to our position. Now, this is just like a regular auto tracking rule, okay? We've got this blue box drawn here and we're gonna track items coming in and out of it. But now instead of just tracking dumb blobs, we're actually tracking specific items. Just wait for this car to drive up the hill and then I'll show you the next preset. Okay, 
So now that I've shown you how auto tracking works on vehicles, what I'm going to do is switch over to our other preset, which is going to auto track people. So I'm going to select this one. So these boxes that I have set up for these two events are slightly different, um, but essentially that was just in an attempt to capture more people as they walk through. Hopefully we'll get some during this demonstration. Um, but essentially, you, what you'll note here is that we've got that big blue box drawn and we have a, an, an intrusion area set up there, but we have items entering that aren't triggering our intrusion detection. And that's because we're performing, that's the, the AI enhancement that I mentioned earlier. We're now actually looking, actively looking to see humans, okay, rather than just any other objects, including cars or, or anything else. So you'll see that you've got yellow boxes drawn around vehicles. Um, you'll note that it, around push bikes, you'll see green boxes drawn and around humans, you will see blue boxes drawn. So we're just gonna hang out in this mode here and we'll wait for someone to enter the pedestrian crossing that we can follow. There you go, you can note that we've just detected one human enter there on the right and we're gonna zoom in and we're going to track him for either 30 seconds or until we lose that person. There you go, we've just lost him behind the building. We'll come back to our preset and we'll look for the next human. They're right on the border there, but you'll see the blue boxes being drawn around that person. We'll see if they come a little bit closer so that we can actually detect them as people. Now the camera obviously needs to have enough detail in the image in order to determine that um, you know, the, the image that it's seeing actually matches its model of a human or a vehicle. Oh, there you go, we've, come, we've had someone come in from the left there and we're gonna follow that person now, probably for 30 seconds or until, again, until we lose him. So you'll note that the, the auto tracking itself is actually pretty quick. Once we lock on, um, it's reasonably good and it's gonna follow this person and it'll just sit there and I'd imagine we're probably gonna time out here because it looks like he's in a in a longish conversation. And we're back. Okay, we've detected someone over at the bus stop there. But as I mentioned before, they're really sort of borderline. Well, there you go, you've got an interaction there. You'll actually see people on push bikes. They're being highlighted as green, but we've not selected to track push bikes or cars. So we're ignoring those objects and we're instead waiting for that person over there that we're highlighting in blue to move. And if they do move, we will track them. So yeah, obviously if, if this were a regular tripwire rule, you would see this going crazy. The camera would be tracking everything, tracking all the cars going through it, tracking shadows, tracking bugs, um, tracking anything really that it could see because it, essentially it's just looking for a blob inside that box or crossing that box. Whereas in this situation, we actually have the camera set up specifically to target an individual event or an individual device item. Okay, we've got a jogger coming in from the left up there now. It's just in the shadow, but I'm sure as soon as he comes around the shadow, we'll detect him as a person. There we go. And we're going to zoom in and follow him. Unfortunately, we lost him on the pole there, but we'll track him again. And you see how, how smooth that is and how easily we're capturing him jaywalking, but that's fine. We're gonna follow him up the street until we lose him. And we just lost him going over those other cameras there. So that was just a brief introduction to AI enhanced pan tilt zoom camera auto tracking. Hopefully from what you've seen, you can visualize some applications for your future installation jobs and where these features could be useful going forward. If you did like the content of this video, please hit that like button down below. If you do wanna see the future video where I show you how to set all of these things up, please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss it. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions, comments, anything else you'd like to know, anything that wasn't covered in this video, please, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.